and this sort of thing. Um, this is a thousand cell faring unit, Isoween right now, but it will have a, a nursery and finisher added on, so it will uh, initially sell Isoweens, but then it'll, it'll sell approximately 30,000. Uh, Isoween basically being they wean oh, off okay. of the cell. Uh, and they go directly to another barn to be, uh, finish it. Okay. It's, it's short for isolated weaning. Okay. So the barn is isolated from the finishing site. Okay. Um, this barn is, like Jeff had mentioned, state of the art. Uh, it's all group housing. Uh, a lot of, actually, a vast majority of the technology and design is European design. Uh, so it, I, I'm very confident saying there isn't another barn like this in the US at all. So this is the first and one of a kind. So, Caroline, uh, just yeah. uh, just start. We uh, it's it's also a very biosecure facility. So we have six showers. All the employees, uh, workers in the barn, will have their own dedicated shower that they will shower in. It's up to their wives if they force them to shower up. They have to shower. In. <laughs> okay. So, all the. Uh, um, Walls, as you see, are all either PVC with concrete fill, uh -huh. or or uh, precast concrete walls. They even have to even make you change your underwear. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. you leave uh, everything on the other oh, side. Man. If you drop eye glasses, you'll spread down with alcohol base just to keep uh, just to clean them because some things you need coming through. Yeah. Um, there's a few basic things uh, like medications and a few other things that can't go through a fumigation or shower type rooms. So there's a pass through window for communication or, or medications and stuff like that that would come in. Uh, but by and large, everything else will be um, uh, fumigated or showered in. Some people maybe even need fumigating in. There will be just laundry facilities here. There's a and, and if I catch myself and don't explain it, there's two types of clean and dirty when I'm referring to this barn. There's biosecurity, clean and dirty, and then there's just regular boots, clean. boots clean and dirty. Uh -huh. um, there's, so there's a, a biosecurity, clean and dirty restroom so that people like me who come into service the barn and have had too much coffee have a way to deal with it before we shower it. Uh, this is a foot each direction bigger than your typical U.S. facility. It's a six by eight door coming out of Europe, a two by two and a half meter uh, farrowing creek area. Mm -hmm. the typical US one is still five by seven. They're running genetics in here where they would expect uh, to see uh, weaning uh, or, or piglet litter size of 13 to 17, depending. Uh, they're they're going to average around 13 uh, weanings per, per litter. And so we need the extra square footage, and given that they're also going to be growing bigger in four weeks. They just need more space. The, the sow area itself is also longer and bigger given that this is a group housing sow barn. Uh, the sow can be bigger, just bigger than normal. But why is some part of the not graded? If we look, uh, let's look back here actually because there's one for the most. Oh, so it's a heat map, it's a hot water ah, heat map. Okay. And uh, they get up there more about what they have at fair. We, this is uh, just a good thing as well. There's twin uh, water frames, which is more money, but we'll work it. At the fair ring, right when the piglets are wet, they'll have a heat lamp overhead as they dry off. Once their piglets are dry, they just need a warmer bed to lay on. And so heat lamps can be removed after the piglets are dry. <coughs> and that's supplied just with hot water by like, flowing. No, 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 it is connected. The heat lamps are not, yeah. not connected yet. Okay. This, this is the last part of the barn they need, so it's um, going to take a couple of escape quickly to shift sides to the snow. Normal farm farm salads are not very good. But here it's just during the day when just Well, it'd be a different way to end up with every animal sitting in one of those the entire time they're in the barn. Okay. There's 100 in here where a barn this size, typically there would have been about 1,200. So that tells you how many animals are actually moving around on the freely, right? They're only there as a two day containment while they breathe. And then they are open and open there. This is a mini of what you're going to see in there, right? So to get the concept of it, you've got a pump station where it's automatically, you've got an RFID tag in there, your antenna in that machine to recognize each animal individually, allows you to control the feed curves and dispense accordingly. They'll take their animals, their guilt replacements that are coming in, the younger animals coming in to keep the herd running, will be trained in this area and then moved into the large group that will be in in a moment. They get in there when they need them already, they're tape for the day, and get them out. Yeah, so this, this station, the basic function to keep the people is not to be boxed in the back. She comes in, she gets recognized, and that trough starts dispensing a little bit at a time.
as long as she stays there and the tags recognized, keeps dosing up the feet until she's been given her full portion.